Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Valkia the Bloody Behold in Immortal Empires. We are almost, well, yes, we're almost done with Silostra. And I think I was like, oh, maybe I should fight this, but I'm going to let him siege for another turn. Let me take this off. What happens? Oof, I lose all my bloodthirsters. Then just blood letters, blood letters. I'm just gonna siege for another turn. We got all the time in the world, and then Veritas over here is gonna. Look at these freaking skull cannons I've got. It's so crazy. What am I doing? Okay. I yeah 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 yeah. I don't know where I was going with Veritas to be honest. So look at the dark fortresses over here. But Wolfric likes me. This guy likes me too. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. I could get some of these if I could get over there. No, we're going to take you on a voyage there to see if you can get some of these without other people taking them. Or we could take Middenheim. We got options. I feel like there should be more dark fortresses under out there. So if I'm going to just be sieging, it's going to be a quick turn. They can run. Yo. I need an audience. Veritas is a very expensive army to be just going on vacation. For now, your blood and skulls are yours to keep. Oh, he wants me to pay him for a peace treaty. Ha, ha, ha. That's cute, scroll. Real cute. Really cute. Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. Now I lose two bloodthirsters. I wonder if... Oh, the reinforcements are not coming for two minutes. What's this map look like? You know what? Let's do it. Let's fight it and see what happens. If I could get to them really fast, if I can see where the reinforcements are coming onto the map at, I could plan accordingly. Ooh, that's tempting, actually. This is the one where I actually wouldn't mind if the reinforcements come in from down here. Okay, they're coming in from the side. Can I get over there in time? Because I kind of want to just, like, wall up here. I think I did that before with Festus, where you just wall up your armies right there. And then if I'm in the trees, it's not like they can shoot me super easy. And I just, like, as soon as they come onto the map, I'm right there. Everybody else I'm gonna have be just like the skull taken to clean. Okay, is that everybody except Valkia? Valkia the bloody I have a feeling that they're gonna be over here too, so I'm gonna have Valkia also come over here. Because this is my plan. Oh, they're over here. So Valkia go after Charlie. And then I'm just gonna spread out like this. And then have these guys on the side. It's gonna be chaos. But that's what we are is you back here. Maybe I should, should I give him some breathing room? Like, I don't know how that's gonna work. Nah. She's on a crab. She's got a lot of debuffs. Whereas, I'm super strong. Okay. 
Look at her, she's so majestic. Boom sauce. Deep off. Oh, she summoned a thing. See how so my leadership is down a little bit, but my weapon strength is fantastic. Two minutes left on these guys. Oh, like a minute left on them. She's only got one kill, but she's also been fighting just against Charlie, so. Certain death. Execute. For corn. Sage my bloodlust. Fading. So this happens when I get points are generated for each enemy entity that is killed. Oh. Glorious okay, her summons died. I should be faster than yeah. Okay, that hurts a little bit. Maybe I should take out the minions first. Clean magic. I wonder if I could do like a, this is probably a bad idea, but it's going to be fun. Wasn't as effective as I had hoped it would be. So this is Still going, Valkia. Skulls and slaughter. Chosen of court. Visit destruction. For the throne. Attack. Challenge me. Chaos sorcerer. Huge explosion area, but I don't know if For fighting sake. The skull take is the Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Decisive victory. Okay. That was fun. Certainly one way to win a battle. It's not very realistic because it's not like there's like a set map when you fight real battles, but it's still fun. All 
All right. So, you're an experienced soul. Accept death Souls. As a blessing. Okay. Yes, my ruinous power. My ruinous powers. Behold my wrath. Decisive victory with low casualties. So we'll none. just not prolong this anymore. Nothing will live here. All right, Silostra is gone. So. Valkyrie the bloody. Now what? I did talk about going over to the Empire, but I kind of want to just wreak havoc on Ulthwan, to be honest. Kind of want to do it. Let's go for a sail, shall we? Reforged for murder. Okay, Valkyrie's only got a few points left, so... Gotta make the most of it. Should I put it into armor? Or hit points? I mean, I have enough to do both. The charge bonus is probably good. Voice of the Dark Gods, Leadership or Size. I'm gonna do armor. Consort of Corn. There will always be blood. Okay. Sword maiden of the blood god. Now is chaos. My prayers are answered. I should turn the path to glory notifications off, but I don't want to forget when he reaches level Speak. 30. I mean, is he going to reach level Tribal. 30? Probably not. Master Lord of Hellpater. Spread ruin turn of off. Okay. So now I'm going to lose money for a little bit because I probably won't be fighting battles, which is going to be rough. But once I get to Ulthwan, hopefully we can start steamrolling again. Your lands will suffer my infinite rage. The rage of corn. The rage of corn. I wish I could easily get Malice to be my vassal without having to attack him, but I don't think it's going to work unless I were to, like, subjugate him forcefully, and then Malekith and everybody else wouldn't like me. Malekith, you're not going to get Blacklight Tower. Sigvald's going to go get it from you. The Gore Queen. On the war path. All right. Should I force march people? I probably should. You have my Full smart. Us. Okay, so savage strategy, that's good. More strength for slow. Yeah, we're still not at tier we're not level nine on everybody yet, so. And I'm pretty sure I've done all of the Yeah, Cisco so no shield, less armor, but more weapon strength and more charge bonus. Not worth it. I look at this every time. It's just, I don't know. Not worth it. Okay. Ho! Oh, Sigvald's doing my job for me. Thus, war was declared upon the high elves. And I feel, I feel like I'm betraying Tyrion. Because I love Tyrion. But when I'm playing like an evil faction, it does bring me joy to beat him. I will dismember you and hang your intestines from the nearest tree. Wow, that's some strong language, Valkyrie.
So I am currently playing a multiplayer campaign with my brother. He's playing Luther Harkon and I'm playing Rackarth. I've never played Rackarth before. And right now Tyrion and Ilariel are so strong that it's uh it's pretty bad. <laughs> Jason's pretty strong as Luther. Like he has Luther like ridiculously powerful. And then I'm over there just like, oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm losing armies right and left. And that's why I'm nervous about playing uh, Marathi because I feel like I don't have good luck with the Dark Elves, but we'll try it anyway. They will be okay, yeah, let's, uh... maybe I'll end up bringing Veritas down to fight that High Elves, but I don't feel like his army is particularly suited to fighting difficult battles. And even still, Tyrion's not, like, super... Unless he's got, like, the southern part of Ulthuan. It's Alariel that's up here, so... We may just have to declare war on Alariel. Part of me wants to declare war on Marathi. Because she's got the Dark Fortress here. Which is weird that the ancient city of Quinex is a Dark Fortress, but, like, the Witchwood is not. I would have thought the Witchwood would be, but I don't make the rules, so... I'll have to be careful. I may have to move out of Force March stance because those rogue armies will grab me. And if there's any high elves swimming along, they'll probably also catch me if I'm Force Marching. Alrighty. Carnets awakened. Yeah, like this lady. Capitano Sisiko is probably gonna attack me if the I master force march. And this is exactly what happened when I played Altharian with Jason Sail is all of a sudden Valkia starts coming down and Sigvald starts coming down and I was over trying to, well, I had taken out Grom, and I was trying to take out Heinrich. So he was busy over in that area, in, like, the Bretonia area, and then all of a sudden everybody starts attacking Ulthuan, and I had confederated Alariel and Tyrion, but I wasn't making a ton of money to give them, like, really good armies, plus it just takes a lot of time to recruit the, the better units, so I would build an army and then there'd be like six armies coming after me and it got to be a lot. Ooh, I got another thing. Bonus experience for Herald. Total favor. Spawn of war. I'll go with Herald. Obviously. Mistress of skulls. All right, so Veritas is going to have to be careful. No force march for you because Capitano will attack you. Capitano might attack you anyway. And you will probably die. Look at all that pink and purple. Reforged for murder. Hearts of Iron, that sounds good. I am free. Ah, the slaughter begins. I command. Oh, we're so close. Malice, how much would I have to pay you? 3,400? I've got the money. We'll be fine. Ready to swordfish! Alrighty, next turn! We're going to go from fighting Vampire Coast to High Elves. High Elves are a bit more... Well, I think the Vampire Coast are armor-piercing. I think probably the High Elves will, are more difficult, but... 
I could find who has the shrine of Cain or the not the shrine of Cain, the sword of Cain. Can you imagine Valkia with the sword of Cain? She don't care about control. Actually, that's a really good idea. I should I should get her. Sword maiden. Maximum gifts of corn. I could do that, and then war horn. Calling of the weak. Souls gained from battles, though. Actually, actually, I'll do this one first. Fury and rage is served. Decisive victory. God. You cannot stand against me. Burn it all. There will always be blood. Beast man. Bloodshed awaits. Bringer of glory. Valkyrie got two more points. It's so fun. And then she's only two points away. So should I do... I think I'm going to do two in hit points. And then... Probably missile resistance. Well, okay, hold up. I'm gonna do missile resistance and mentor. Consort of corn. Sword maiden of the blood god. I'll just do mentor for him. Hetch and... woman. Burning head. Okay. Is that the best they could give us? What? Who's next? Speak. Okay. I expect to meet resistance. Tyrion's got two big armies down there. Oh, Veritas. Rats. Not used to having two armies. Apparently. Whoa, what the heck is this name? Arbal Morspig. I would have thought by now Marathi would not hate me entirely. I think as time goes on without the drown, she'll be fine, but should she dare challenge me, she will regret her decisions. I'll say that much. Okay, let's do him first. Okay, so right now the closest I have is Alariel. We're gonna go to the Shrine of Cain. Move. I don't think anybody is there. I mean, I don't think the sword is there. I think somebody has the sword. Carnets awakened. The gods smile. But then we're gonna declare war on Alariel. It would be awesome if I could just get the entire continent of Ulthwan to be raised, but there's going to be too many people picking up the ruins for that to happen, so... Unfortunately. The Lord of Murder's host stands ready to annihilate your kind. How many times do I have to reject you, Tretch? Funny how Scryer and Eshin are like, we are not going to ask for peace. They're probably the two stronger ones right now. Did you just... I'm confused as to what just transpired over here. Oh, he settled it. Interesting. I am very surprised. The plains around Corn's throne are hotter. Reforged for murder. All right, let's think about this strategically. Who's that? Who's friends? Or who's... Mistress of the Undying Forest. Noctilus, Marathi, 
So maybe I could get Marathi to like me. Or maybe I should just take... Marathi. Maybe I'll just try to squeeze money from Sigvald. Who's, who's more powerful? Sigvald's pretty you powerful. Dare. Welcome, warrior of chaos. I shall before join your ask, war. Yes, you may bow before the Geld Prince. Against Ivalon. I am curious, though. Yes, yeah, speak quickly. Join Don't. war against Avalorn. Oh, she gives me more Sigvald, so I'll go with that. Naturally. It's all a money game. The glory, violence, and death. Corpses, ash, and rubble. Mistress of skulls. Okay. There will always be blood. Now I'll give her hit points. I'll put two into hit points because I want to make it an even. So I won't get the other mentor, but Sword that's okay. Maiden of the blood god. The Gore Queen, bringer of glory. This is why. Yes, my ruinous powers. I'm gonna make him a Chaos Gladiator, cause that sounds cool. Such meager Exalted hero, devote to corn. Right now he's shielded. I'm gonna keep him shielded. Oh, I didn't move Veritas. Darn it. Oh, no, I did, but... Alright, I guess I queued him up. Skrulk hasn't taken out Itza yet. Gorak, Gorak is holding fast. You will die weeping like the sniveling coward you are. I feel like these turns go by so slow. Look who's following me. Is that Agol? Tribesman. Ag hole. Ag hole. Okay, so these guys came and then they turned around and left. Like, I don't know what their whole goal is, but. Spread ruin on them. Take attrition, you'll be fine. Behold my wrath. Oh, the blue scribes are over here. I don't know why they're not in an army, but. Murder. Consort of corn. Uh oh, they're coming for me, guys. They're all coming for me. Tyrion's coming. <laughs> Eek. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this way. I gotta run away. <sighs> Narn, you're gonna get absolutely demolished. I'm. S I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. If Tyrion attacks me, I may actually have to fight that because. So. Oh, where are they going? I don't know what Cross Marathi me, was doing just I will then. Be your most painful undoing. I wish I could just, like, tell them I'm not doing peace treaties so that they would stop. And I probably am going to have to make that my last turn. We'll see the position of the High Elves, though, for next time. Oh, the Blue Scribes are under Sigvald. I guess I didn't realize he could get the Blue Scribes. I, 
guess that makes sense because he's a Any kind of magic. warrior of chaos. Doesn't that mean I could have gotten the blue scribes? Ideal fighting conditions. Interesting, I don't know. Tyrion. Absolutely not. Holy spellcasters. Hopefully my army has Garnet's spell resistance. 35%. So that's probably why. Mark of corn. Does not evaporate easily. Do I have fire resistance? It's probably that why the burning head hasn't hurt me as bad. Alright, well I'm gonna leave it off there. We've got Tyrion. We've got three of Tyrion's armies and we've got one of this guy. Who is this? Illyrian. Um, we've got some Alariel. Uh, the more Alariel. There's Alistair. Holy moly, I have stumbled upon a bee's nest. So this is gonna be fun, guys. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you hope you guys are still enjoying this and I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.